Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, KB, and in this video, I want to show you guys the best Chrome OS for your laptop, computer, PC, desktop, deck, stop, whatever you call them. They are just a computer, okay? <laughs> so the thing is, when you ask someone that how to install the Chrome OS in my laptop or computer, or even if we do the Google search, the most of the searches and the most of the people will say that install cloud ready chromium os which is a good os by the way i'm not saying that is not a good but in this video i'm going to show you the alternative actually the better os than the cloud ready so yeah if you don't know nothing about the chrome os then you do the google search what is chrome os chrome os is an amazing thing for you know students and all that kind of stuff it, it, the os is like just a browser where you you know the fastest computer you can say the fastest operating system for laptops and computers so that's enough intro so this is the feddy os actually so the name of the chromium os i'm running right now in my virtual machine is feddy os and i'm gonna go into the settings actually in the menu you can see there's a setting and all that kind of stuff so this is a chrome so first let me tell you that why this is better than the cloud ready os one simple reason it can run android apps and if you believe it or not cloud ready i think as of now the cloud ready cannot run android apps so this is the only chromium os which runs android apps so which is a good thing so second thing actually this is a chrome os for china yeah so because this is a chrome os for china there's a one tiny problem that in china the google apps are banned you can't use google apps in china and you can actually use the google apps if you do some tips and tricks you know i will put a link in the description for one subreddit where you can learn how to activate the google accounts and google apps and google play store in uh this fairy os the chinese chrome os so i did lots of search research whatever you call it and i found this is the only chrome os which lets you run android apps so this is amazing thing so i'm just gonna open the browser right here i'm running in virtual machine and even in virtual machine it's fairly you know decent fast you can say so i'm just gonna search for something like maybe my site or something like that okay so default search engine is bing obviously because google all the google services are banned in china so <laughs> if you are using this outside of china you can actually use the google searches and everything but to enable the google play store any app that requires a google services then you have to read that subreddit link i will put a link in the description for that you can go there and read the subreddit and you will know how to activate those services google services in fedi os so that is the only you know tiny problem in fedi os because this is a chrome os for china and in china you can't actually use the google services even though this chromium thingy is also a google service actually the chromium os is a open source anyone can build their own os with using the chromium os so i'm not gonna go into the deep detail why this is possible in china because <laughs> i don't know nothing about the china so right now if you go into the about fairy os uh in virtual machine this is a 75 chrome build so actually if you want to install it in your computer there will be newer version 78 or 77 above and they call it a ferry os 8 the os i'm running right now is ferry os 7.1 so this is the older version so i haven't installed in my computer because i first need to learn how to activate uh the google services without that i can't actually use i don't want to use so i'm also planning on it and uh, at the end of the video i will actually show you the boot up actually i'm gonna go inside settings and i'm gonna show you that there is a android okay so if you know about the chrome os i don't have to tell you anything this is the super fast 
OS for computers. So I'm going to try to open the okay, settings. Okay, it's opening. <laughs> Since this is running in virtual machine, it will be a little bit laggy. So you can see in about device, this is the Android 7.1.1. So actually there is a latest standard version in Fadi OS 8. So I will show you at the end of the video. Okay. So first I need to instruct you how to download and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to close this virtual machine actually. All right, this is the website of Fedi OS. So since this is in like China website, if you're using a Google Chrome, then it will automatically translate. But I'm going to show you original. So this is the how site will look. So you have to translate or use the Google Chrome to translate. There is a translate button. And I'm going to hit translate. And after that, it will be easier to read if you are not from China. Okay. So they actually have a laptops uh, with the Chrome OS running and they sell it in China, not in other countries. So this is actually a legit Chrome OS for China. In China, the people use because as I said, 100 times that all the Google services are banned in china you can't use it so that's why uh yeah i don't need to talk more about it so you can read the site and know everything about it but if you want to download it there is a download experience tab you just click on that and it will open up the download links so here it gets interesting so we have the fedi os for pc which means it will run almost on any computers okay so you can download this hit on direct download or you can also read the user guide how to install okay and there is a fedi os for virtual machine vmware so if you are planning to just test then download this and load it up in your virtual machine and yeah just like i did okay but in newer version of fedi os version 8 there will be a newer version of Chrome OS and there will be the latest Android, Android 9. So yeah, that's the thing. And if you scroll down, you can actually download the Fed OS for specific device. Like if you have a Chromebook Pixel 2013 or Microsoft Surface Pro 3, you know, I don't have to read, you know, you're intelligent and if you're planning to use it in raspberry pi you can also download and i don't know what is this tinker board but i think this is also a piece of computer thingy i know about the raspberry pi but i don't know about the tinker okay so you can you know as a requirement you can download the fed us from here so what you want to do here is if you are planning to install it in your computer then you just download the fed os for pc and it will almost work on all the computers so there is a one condition though to run a android apps so if you let me find all right so there's a one one tiny not tiny this is a big problem by the way so as I said, Fed OS is best because you can run the Android apps. It's better than the uh, Cloudflare because you can run the Android apps. I said it twice. I know that. <laughs> but there is a problem. If your computer is running a CPU of AMD, you won't be able to run the Android apps because it does not support. So if you have a Intel CPU graphic cards, then yes, you can run the Android apps good for intel users bad for amd i feel sorry for amd but if you have intel this is the best chrome os you can get okay and uh, you can read here and learn about the how to install so that's that okay now let's move on to the next part all right so if you really want to install it in your pc and you want to enable android and linux support in fed os then you have to you must have to read this you must have to follow this uh, tutorial written here so i'm not gonna go one by one you know because you can see how many steps are there and you have to do all that by using the terminal in google chrome so that's why i said it will take some time if i do it myself okay <laughs> so i i also needed to do this uh, so I'm not done yet so I will show you once once I have done everything I will maybe I will make a one short video after 
few days but uh, if you follow this you will be able to enable the google services in fed os and you will be able to install it in your computer successfully okay so that's that now i'm gonna show you the footage me loading up the fed os in my actual computer the second laptop okay so yeah my webcam will be gone but i'm gonna pick up my phone and i'm gonna start recording using my phone see you there yeah my laptop is right there sitting <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna boot up my fed os using usb stick in my actual computer so you can see the comparison or whatever you know it's actually faster than the virtual machine okay i have to type the password here all right i have loaded up and this is how it looks and this is how it feels smooth yes i know linux apps i have tried to install the linux uh, interface or whatever you call it because my usb stick was so small it it didn't install so first i need to install it in my actual or maybe just in bigger usb stick so i'm gonna go and buy a 64 gigabyte of usb stick or i'm gonna do a partition in my hard drive and uh, after that i will try everything out okay and there is a android you can see this is not in chinese so it's loading up that means maybe there is an update or something like that or maybe it needs to do some activation or something like that so if i had installed it in my actual hard drive it would be much faster because usb stick is smaller and a little bit you know slower too all right that's about it so as you can see there is an application called cool apk from here you can download the third party apks but if you download the application which requires a google services then that won't run because as i said 100 times the google apps are banned in china and so in this os to you know use full android then you have to follow this tutorial and this tutorial will help you so make sure that first you install it in you know bigger uh, storage because i have it in 8 gigabyte um, usb stick so it's it's not it's not great by the way so first learn how to install it in hard drive in hdd or ssd and after that follow along like how to remove the you know languages like chinese language and after that i think the language is not the problem because you can choose at the beginning which language you want to have english or whatever you know that's it i know this is not a complete tutorial because i'm also new to this this is actually a, just a informational video for you guys that there is a os chrome os which actually runs android apps on any computer any means intel computers by the way no amd i'm gonna put link in the description for all the sites this reddit post and the fed os site from there you can download and play around with it and let me know in the comment section below what you think about it that's it i'm not gonna take a long time bye bye peace